Well, hello there to all of my Sagittarius. This is Queen Amura coming to you with your general reading. Sagittarius, let's go. Let's see what your cards have to say. This really, this reading, really, <laughs> this reading is for the 6th of September through the 6th of October. All right, let's go. I'm talking to you if you have Sagittarius anywhere in your birth chart, not just your sun, moon, rising, or Venus, but anywhere in your birth chart. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, Sagittarius. Continue working hard. Here we have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Cups. We also have the Page of Swords. We also have the Six of Pentacles. We also have the Knight of Cups. And then also the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, the Two of Pentacles. All righty. Okay, okay, okay. All right. So we have the Knight of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles. We also have the Eight of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and also the Page of Swords. Yes, indeedy. So Source wants you to continue doing the energy work, not looking for people's approval because approval from Source is already coming through for an additional stream of income. And then also to stay in your light because the only person that's saving you is you, right? So the anxiety for you about something that could have been deeply disappointing or heartbreaking is going away because you're staying in your light. That's right. Whatever you need to leave behind in this Knight of Cups energy, the only person that can save you is you. That's why, you know, that's why when some people move on from one job to the next, they're looking for other people to validate. Like, because we see so much money out here, right? If you move on from one job to the next, people are looking to validate. So some, so you're looking for any reason to stay on a job where you feel like it's mis mistreating you. Or you feel like, okay, I'm not happy here, right? So you're looking for other people to say, I'm not happy here either, right? So it's like, you don't need other people to validate you because they can't save you. You can literally be going through hell in a friendship, a romantic relationship, a job, or whatever. You can tell 20 people. Everybody can tell you their opinion about something, but nothing is going to really, really happen until you move on from it. So that's what I'm seeing for you all. That's why the anxiety is going away. I do see somebody taking a trip here. We have the two of wands, two of swords. We have the king of swords, two of cups, five of cups, and also the ace of cups, right? So source is saying, when you take the blindfolds off and recognize that you have the power to move on beyond something, somebody's going to say, you know what? It's time for me to take a trip. <laughs> I need to take a trip. I need to get out there and start looking for a new job. I need to get out. If that's, if that really would just take what resonates with you. I need to look for a new job. I need to look for a new love interest. I need to look for something new. But in the meantime, I want to focus on here. I do see soulmate energy coming across your path, but they are not coming to save you from the last relationship. If you did not learn a lesson from the last relationship, I would strongly suggest not getting into anything until you have learned whatever lesson. Because somebody has definitely been lamenting over something emotionally. But I'm telling you, when you're intentionally in receiving mode, even your exes will try to come back into your life. You're like, uh-uh. No, 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 no. Here we have the king of swords. And so source is saying to you, you're, you're very smart. You're very knowledgeable, you know, about what you left behind on your way back to your throne. Don't step down off of your throne again by saying, okay, well, let me open that door again and see what my ex wants. Mm -mm. Keep on moving forward. See how this person is not looking back. They actually looking out towards expansion. Like, you know what? I, I think I need to cast my net out there a little further when it comes to work, when it comes to my love life, when it comes to friendships, that kind of thing. Because again, nobody's coming to save you. Source really wants you to learn how to protect your emotions, Sagittarius. I mean, that's really the long and short of it. So that's what I'm seeing for you. So some kind of approval is coming across as far as money is concerned. But it's not coming from a human, it's coming from source. So source is the one that you want to say, okay, thank you that I had the strength to move on from something else. And now I have other opportunities to make money. Making money also, remember we're talking about like you're circulating money. So that means that you've been putting out energy into the universe and it's coming back to you. So that could mean you're not paying as much on your rent. That's also keeping more money in your pocket. So you're speaking something, something into existence. It can mean you got approved for a home, you know, something. But so let me be the first person to congratulate you for whatever it is. Where or you're coming across creative ideas. It looks like somebody is very creative. Coming across creative ideas to start a business while you're working for somebody else. So you're saying, hey, I don't have enough. I'm not going to put all of my emotion into this job for somebody else. I can use that creativity for my business. You know, that kind of thing. So here we have the page of wands. We also have the ace of wands, the three of swords, the two of cups. We also have the five of cups and also the dame of pentacles. All right, so um, five of cups came out twice. Two situations in particular. That's why you see so many twos here because two is a relationship number. And so source is saying to you, you know, whenever you see the number two, 
think of relationships. Do I have a really, really good relationship with purpose? I mean, with uh, with source, right? First and foremost, right? With self, right? Here we also have the two of cups. So some kind of proposal is coming across your path in terms of soulmate energy. Two of cups came out twice. So it's like, it's like two for two. Two things that you are lamenting over are going to be replaced with two other things, right? Two other energies, right? And the energies are not always people. It could mean like, you know, meeting new friends, you know what I'm saying? Like, or meeting, you know, have an opportunity to purchase a house and an increase at work. Everything is energy. Remember that. So make sure you're making room for something that you ask source for. Here we have the page of wands because source is cooking up something nice for somebody. You know, we also have the three of swords. Don't let this one right here, this disappointment, sailing away from some disappointment cause you to sit in there for so long that you miss the creative opportunities to make more money to come across your path. Because I see somebody's going to be very, very happy. I see your third eye is open. It's like when you learn how to flush out your toxins every single day, Sagittarius, you start to say, okay, I'm just going along with life. You know, I'm not putting all of my energy. I'm not... I'm not throwing myself out of balance. So I'm not putting too much thought into something, too much emotion, too many ideas, too much money or time into something. So I'm, I got it, everything all balanced out of my universe. So when I need to detach, what I'm keeping with me are the lessons learned. Everything else is out the door. Everything else is on the other side of that. So intuition, somebody's learning how to listen to their intuition from now on. You all are really a, um, a highly... Um, spiritually gifted sign Sagittarius you all love to have fun but you all you are able to I really want somebody to sit down and think about like what what light do you bring to this world just don't worry about how much money somebody make or how much money you make or compare yourself to anybody else but what light do you bring to the world here we have have faith in your dreams 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 indulgence number 19 you are worth every desire every dream demand what is yours demand what you need demand 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 that's right demand what you need so that's really like uh I, I guess it would be like compared to going boldly before the throne right you know you've heard people say that go boldly before the throne it's like you're telling source within yourself like you're sending a message out to the universe um yeah, to here we have right now. Stay in the present and don't get too far ahead of the flow. You'll soon trust that nothing more will come than can be handled each moment. Yeah, so this is really like really saying to yourself, Sagittarius, I'm the creator in my own, um, um, I'm the creator of my own universe, like some co creator of my own universe. So I want to make sure, you know, I make room for the things that I want. You know, sometimes people are so afraid to to make a make a bold, you know, statement about their own universe. They they just exist in that space of fear. You know, exist in that space of fear. And so that's not something that you necessarily want to do is exist in a space of fear. So um this is where sometimes you got to keep things close to the cuff. Like if you say, "Okay, I want to start a business." It, your excitement because your energy is directed outward Sagittarius may be like, well, let me tell five of my friends or certain family members or whatever. I know they're going to be right there cheering me on or whatever. Sometimes you got to keep that excitement inward and say, you know what, let me just go ahead and start it. And then, you know, when I feel good enough to start telling people where I feel solid enough emotionally to start telling people, then I'll start telling people so that if, if anybody says something negative, like, why would you want to do something like that? It won't shatter my spirit, you know, to a point where you feel like, okay, well, why am I doing it? Right. That's why it's important for you to sit down and think, what contribution am I making to the world? What contribution am I making to the world? Number two, I am diplomatic. You have great talent for finding solutions. Your intuitive and unbiased nature allow you to see all sides of any situation and advise others towards the most fair and beneficial outcome. Fair and beneficial outcome. Yep. All right. Wisdom. Affirmations for wisdom. I am a lifelong learner. I listen more than I speak. I listen to understand, not to reply. Divine wisdom flows freely into my life. I make wise decisions. I am prudent. I am patient. 
when you are balanced out and you are at your highest frequency and you, well, you know, operating from agape love, when I say highest frequency, right? And you are in your purpose, you'd be surprised, Sagittarius, at what comes to you. You'd be surprised that you won't always, like by default, react to things. You know, your energy is directed outward. And like I said, I see some kind of an approval coming across your path. So you have to position yourself to be in receiving mode of whatever it is you want, whether it's money, new love, new job offer, whatever it is, you have to make room for it because otherwise that's like putting new furniture in a place where it's already been hoarding all this other stuff. It'd be hard to see what's new furniture unless you pointed it out. Somebody coming and visits you, they like trying to climb over other stuff. They don't even know what a new furniture is. And you got all that other stuff mixed in with new. I mean, so it's just saying start getting, start disciplining yourself to practice purging, like releasing things in your memory, you know, like not in your memory, but just like in your the negative stuff, right? Like purging. Like if I'm thinking about it, that can I can stand firm on. Okay, that's why I close out cycles because when I think about it, you know, it was starting to cause a distraction away from my purpose. So now I can close out a cycle. Now I remember, but I'm not sitting in that memory for too long. That's what I have for you. So focus on the right now. That's all that really matters is right now. What do I need to clear out so I can make room for these blessings trying to come in? You know, that's it. That's what I have for you. And I'll see you on Freedom Friday. Bye.